Hello and welcome to this Thomas Rick Edit Remastered tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to install the add-on and how to use it and which features it has. So first, we have to install it and therefore we're going to the user preferences. Therefore, click on Edit, Preferences and now on this Install button. Then you will look for your downloaded zip file, the add-on, and you just install it. Now you should see this here and this is basically the add-on and you just click on this check mark and you activate it then we first close this preferences because we don't need them at the moment so how do i append this rig edit it's really easy you just press shift a on your keyboard then you go to thomas rig blue evil edit and yeah you just click on this or if you want to use the original rig, you just use this normal, normal Thomas rig. So this is now the Thomas rig edit, and if it's really completely white like this, you're mostly in solid view, and you should change to material preview. Then you will also see the skin and the colors and so on. So. The first thing you see is it has got a different facial panel and you can close it if you don't need it and you need the space for different things you can just close it and it's away and you can also open it. Um, the controls are exactly the same like in the original rig but the head scrush and stretch is now on the facial panel here. Okay. So now to the custom UI, you can activate and deactivate and select here, or you can use simplify. This will basically just change the simplify settings of Blender in this scene. And view mode is like in the original rig view mode. What's new? Chibi mode. You can use chibi mode, smaller body, a little bit bigger head. You can use limb arms, second layer, smooth bands, and it's tech to deform if you want to. And you can also use no face. This will close the facial panel, you can't open it anymore. And yeah, that's basically it. You just don't have the facials and so on. Um, fingers is really sex. Uh, fingers is really self-explaining, and then eyebrow thickness. It changed the eyebrow thickness. Wow! And you can add also blush if you want to. Now to the material settings. You can either choose a skin from your desk, uh, from your hard drive. Or you can download a rig, uh, a skin from a username like this. This might take a second, but then it's there. In this case, I would either edit the skin, like opening the skin directory, like this. And then you can just edit the skin. And if you're finished with that, you just reload the skin. And you can also press on this library icon uh, or button and use already downloaded skins. Then we have got new eye materials. You can have solid eyes, original eyes, it's basically the original material from the original rig and you've got textured eyes, you've got four different textures you can choose from and you can also change the roughness and of course the color and the color is also improved a little bit then you can also have two different colored eyes like this you can also now 
uh, choose a custom color for the eyebrows like green blue like you want and yeah then we are going to the posing tab you can show the bones in front you can show the flip bone it's just a flip bone i've added and you can change the ik or fk options for every arm and leg individually then you've got also smart head movement this basically deforms the head a little bit like this and i can also increase or decrease the influence of it or you just deactivate it all then you've got a little bit new options for the facial controls and um, we can either use original facial controls for the eyebrows or use alternative options like this you can see uh, they're a little bit different and you can choose between these and you can also put the controls on this panel here so eyebrow controls here eye controls here and yeah you've got the normal controls on the page on the face itself okay then you can also locate the control panel on the left or right and move it by selecting the bottom bracket and press G for move it and yeah you can parent it to the head to the upper body or to the root you can just play around it and see what what is but it's uh, actually really self-explaining yep okay then we we go back to the user preferences and can install or share rig presets you've already installed or you're using for sharing and importing preset bundles you just choose the location or the file and then you either import or just share it uh, the same for single presets you can add single preset uh, you can add single presets that is like a blend file then you can either rename it to fit in or you just leave it blank and it will use the file name it already has for removing presets you can select with this enumeration um, a preset and then you submit your choice and it will be removed then you can also download rigs from the internet like Shucklebox then you just download the rig and it will take a little bit and now it's installed and you can also just download the skin or open the skin library from here or you just hide all the settings Rig settings, this is basically um, the default settings you can choose, like facial posing, facially Y, arms and legs, okay, FK, flip bone, and advanced rig options. Advanced rig options is this plus tab here. <laughs> it will allow you to use advanced stuff, more advanced stuff, like lip sync frame one i want um the letter u i add a keyframe and it will automatically yeah add this keyframe here i want a little letter e and it will automatically add it like this okay you can also add lip sync from text but i have to warn you this doesn't um, work very well but it will add some keyframes not really good I know um, but if you want to use it okay and you can also parent some things easily to the rig like I've got this cube here and I want the character to hold it select the cube the arm left wrist parent object to rig and you will see it's now parented to the arm you can also add a cape with these two different styles and you can choose here your cape texture 
if you want to use banner, you see it's now stretched because it uses a different texture format. It will use the original Minecraft banner texture. Cape does use Optifine textures. So now we're going to take a look at MC assets. You can append default armor and default append tools. And it will automatically parent it. You will see it does work. It does really it does really do everything for you. You don't have to parent it and it's only there if you want it or need it. Same for yeah, same for swords or different tools like this. And if you don't need it, you can just delete it like this. And if you select there at the armature, you can also parent these custom armor types like this is not parented. And if you click on parent, it will automatically parent, be parented to the rig. Um, you can also append these different new weapons like this. And you can then just choose uh, use it. Let's clear this a bit up. There are also four different tools for you to use, different mobs to use. You might have to scale it a little bit down to get the hang out of it. Or you append these models like this. Now to the presets, you can easily append them by going to the Thomas Rick Bluebell Edit tab here and append Rick preset and then you can easily append it like this here. Or you append a downloaded rig like the Schalke box rig. But then you have to Um, uh, let's see, you have to check the um, hiding stuff yourself. And then you can use the Shagobox trick here. Yeah. 